uh, and this is big. Uh, this is from the UK, where Suella Braverman, who is the Home Secretary of the United Kingdom, has resigned. Uh, this is now adding further turmoil to uh, Prime Minister Liz Truss's government. Remember, she's barely been in office for the last uh, month or so. Uh, and Suella Braverman, uh, controversial Home Secretary, uh, has resigned. And this, of course, is adding to turmoil because, uh, remember, just a few days ago, Kwasi Kwarteng, who was the Chancellor of the Exchequer, was asked to step down. Uh, he, of course, quit uh, and made way for Jeremy Hunt. Uh, so this turmoil, this political turmoil continuing uh, ever since Liz Truss assumed office. She had a tough time today uh, in Parliament defending uh, her government's record. Let me now go across to Sanjay Suri. Uh, so any particular reason that's been given as to why uh, Ms. Braverman has quit? Well, we are told that the reason, as expected, is not a difference over policy, but because there has been an issue of a personal misdemeanor, we are told that she broke the ministerial code, that she was confronted with this, that she accepted this, and has resigned on that basis. The question exactly, of course, is what she did. We are still waiting to find out. We expect to do that very soon. But it is over a breach of the ministerial code that she was asked to hand in her resignation. What does that mean? If you could explain to our viewers uh, who are watching in India and around the world, is it is it some kind of financial misdemeanor? Is it some personal uh, misdemeanor that has now suddenly come to light? Do we know what, what this entails? Well, it will entail principally a violation of the code that the Prime Minister of the day sets out for ministers to follow in public office. This need not be personal. It is a code that has been set out that requires all ministers to function by certain guidelines that are believed to be clean and transparent. If a minister falls from that, then that minister is said to have breached the code. There was an inquiry against the early Home Secretary, Preeti Patel, again, over allegations that she broke the ministerial code in the way she dealt with her colleagues. There was a senior official who had resigned, alleging bullying. That led to an inquiry over an alleged breach of the ministerial code. On that occasion, the Prime Minister then Boris Johnson backed Preeti Patel. On this occasion, the Prime Minister Liz Truss has accepted government's resignation. Uh, also, very quickly, she did have some controversial views, particularly on the question of immigration, uh, she being the, uh, the daughter of immigrants uh, into England. If you could just revive uh, the memories of our viewers uh, on why her views on immigration particularly were controversial. Well, she really said that uh, she opposes the free trade agreement on the basis that that includes a provision for more professionals from India to come over to UK. She also said that a lot of illegal migrants are overstaying. The two are, of course, distinct issues, but she put them under an umbrella. She opposed the FTA, and she said so publicly in an interview to The Spectator magazine. Over this, she was reprimanded. She was made to reverse her views. She was silenced. In fact, her views were overridden, and the government has decided to go ahead with the negotiations disregarding uh, what she had said. So clearly she was seen as having spoken out of turn and silenced for it. Again, over the Leicester uh, riots, she blamed recent Indian immigrants and a lot of Indian organizations protested very strongly. And Indian organizations and Indians are very influential now within the Conservative Party. So there has been a groundswell of opposition to her within the Conservative Party that has had a very uh, Indian spearhead. Uh, uh, so we have the letter of resignation of Suella Braverman. This is addressed to the Prime Minister, Liz Truss, where she writes, Dear Prime Minister, it is with great regret that I'm choosing to tender my resignation. Earlier today, I sent an official document from my personal email to a trusted parliamentary colleague as part of policy engagement and with the aim of garnering support for government policy on migration. This constitutes a technical infringement of the rules as you know, the document was a draft written ministerial statement about migration due for publication imminently. Much of it had already been briefed to MPs. Nevertheless, it's right for me to go. As soon as I realized my mistake, I rapidly reported on this on official channels and informed the cabinet secretary. As home secretary, I hold myself to the highest standards and my resignation is the right thing to do. So she sent an email, which was an official document from a personal email ID 
to a trusted parliamentary colleague, which would constitute a breach of the ministerial code. Is that why she is resigning, Sanjay? Well, that is what she says. But this appears to be a very minor matter. There have been very many more serious violations of the ministerial code that have not led to resignations. This appears a very a minor a Westminster nicety that a communication was sent on her personal email. It appears that this was made the reason to quit the government. She's had differences with the government over immigration policies, over the free trade agreement. She had expressed her differences with Liz Truss over the decision to reverse uh, the, the corporation uh, tax uh, cut as promised by Liz Truss in the campaign. Liz Truss chose to go the Rishi Sunak way. Clearly, Braverman is distancing herself from this government. She does not want to be a part of it. And let's not forget, she had made a bid earlier to be prime minister herself. She had contested in that race. She was eliminated early. She could be preparing the ground for a comeback in an eventual race. So that may not be any, that far down any the line. Any front runners just yet to become the next Home Secretary of the UK? Uh, Sanjay, uh, who are the front, well, who are the the front runners? Well, he's the guide, but uh, the bookies have been speculating. Uh, it's uh, perhaps a little early to speculate that, but may not be too early given the pace at which... Uh, this government is following all over the place and everything going topsy-turvy. But uh, the bookies have placed bets on Rishi Sunak as the top runner, and this was recently. But these uh, speculations and these calculations do change all the time. Others uh, considered in the race have been Boris Johnson himself, uh, Penny Mordaunt, who had also made a bid uh, for the post of prime minister, and also Ben Wallace, the defense secretary. Uh, All of these have been considered uh, as possible replacements. Bookies, bookies are placing their bets on, on uh, all of these. Uh, Sanjay, so I want to come back to her letter and the, and the reason that she's ostensibly cited for why she quit, which is that she sent an official document from a personal email ID to a trusted parliamentary colleague, which would constitute a breach of rules. Uh, she also says in that resignation letter that it is a technicality, uh, do you think that this is just a ruse? I mean, the real reason is that she perhaps fears that the trust government might not last its full term and therefore, by association, uh, she, she might uh, find, find it politically uh, uh, disadvantages to her. Well, it is a ruse. It is the most minor of technicalities. This, after all, as she says herself, is a trusted parliamentary colleague with whom she communicated using her personal email address. Uh, it's the sort of thing uh, everyone does once in a way, um, perhaps inadvertently or without thinking that it is significant in any way. It certainly does not amount to a breach of any significance, uh, let alone a serious breach. She seems to be doing two things. One, dropping away from this government. This government is now a much discredited government. Second, she could be preparing the ground for her to play a bigger role in a new government and possibly to head it. She may use this as a starting point to renew her ambitions to go for the post of prime minister herself. And very 